everyone, it's me Jen here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been so excited about making today's video. Today I'm here with something a little bit different and that is uh, what I gave for Christmas video. Uh, I just thought that you guys might be interested in some of the things that I got for friends and family for Christmas. I love watching these types of videos. It always gives me inspiration for things I can possibly get other people in the future. So hopefully maybe you'll find this helpful. One of my favourite things about Christmas time is giving presents. I just love seeing people's reactions when they open them. I think this year more than ever it's just been such a difficult year for everyone and I just wanted to try and make people happy um, by getting them some really special gifts. I did try my best this year as much as I could to shop local, tried to get a lot of things from small businesses on Etsy. Unfortunately I am filming this after Christmas so I don't physically have all of the things but I will try and put pictures up and possibly even link some of the things down below if you are interested. But yeah let's just get straight into the video. So first of all we're gonna start with my boyfriend Ryan and the things that I got him for Christmas this year um, which I actually don't have on me at the moment but I'll just try my best to talk you through them. One of his main presents this year was an electric toothbrush. I have the pink one um, and I got him I think it's one of the slightly newer versions. I did get it at a discounted price from Amazon on Black Friday. I think it was about £35 um, and the good thing was that it came with a little travel case as well. They're such a practical but really handy gift to have so he definitely really appreciated that. The next thing that I got Ryan for Christmas that I know for a fact he absolutely adores was a teddy fleece bedding set from Dunelm. I actually already have two different sets of teddy fleece duvet and whenever he comes over he's always like this is so soft like you need to get me this and I know he's always complaining about the fact that his room's really cold so I got him a super soft super fluffy duvet set and he absolutely loved it. I got it for about £25 in a sort of charcoal -y colour. Again I wanted to get him something super practical that I knew he would use because he is so hard to buy for. The next thing that I got him was actually technically his idea um, but it was a Funko Pop which is like a little kind of bobblehead ornament. Uh, Ryan recently got a new setup for like his PC gaming. He's got like all the coloured LED lights. It's quite an impressive setup and he wanted lots of little kind of action figures and things to put on display. Uh, so I got him the John Wick Funko Pop because that's one of his favourite movies. He actually got me, if you've watched my What I Got for Christmas video, uh, Baby Yoda one. So we were, we were very in sync with that. Both my boyfriend and I have been obsessed with Animal Crossing this year since it came out on Switch. So I actually went on Etsy. I got him a 3D printed custom made little balloon. It's actually like a little trinket box for him to put like little bits and bobs in. I thought it would look really cool on his desk. And yeah, I will try and link you to the sailor because it was really cool and he was so impressed with it. Another little extra that I almost completely forgot about that I'm just going to add into the video now was these chocolate coins which are shaped just like the bells from Animal Crossing. I also got him the Animal Crossing guide book which is just a really cool handy little thing to have. It came out when the game was released and it's got all of the different items in it that you can collect and yeah that is everything that I got him for Christmas this year. He really loved all of his gifts so yeah definitely a success. The next person I'm going to be showing you the gifts that I got for is my sister Kirsty. Luckily she is like next door right now so I was able to go and steal back some of the things that I got her so that I can show you. If you didn't already know Kirsty is at university training to be a teacher as well and she wants to be a secondary PE teacher so I went on to Etsy and I ordered her a personalised lanyard for her to put like her whistle and her ID badge on when she's on placement. It just says Miss Ross PE in like sparkly writing um, and it's purple, really pretty and she absolutely loved that so if you know someone that's a teacher then really good gift idea. I've also got a lanyard that Ryan got me for my birthday which says Miss Ross on it. The next thing I got for Kirsty I actually also got for myself and for Ryan's sister as a gift um, and I've not got mine on my earpods right now since they're on charge but it is a little personalised earpods case. It's just got my initial and it says Jen on it. Kirsty and I, especially since she's been home for uni, uh, both have earpods and we're always getting them mixed up. I thought that, that would be really handy just to make sure we don't get them mixed up um, and it comes with a little carabiner clip as well so you can attach onto things because I'm always worried that my earpods are going to fall out of my bag or I'm going to lose the case so if you're going to the gym or something you can just attach it on really easily. I actually got this one off of Amazon so I'll try and link it below if you're interested. Another thing that I got my sister it was this little kind of phone tripod. During lockdown her and I have been filming TikTok videos. I know that she likes to make them with her friends and she's also recently started a YouTube channel as well so I thought that would come in really handy because I know she was just like balancing her phone when she was trying to film videos. Um, so this can attach cameras and phones and um, you can hold it up with portrait and landscape. It's kind of multi-purpose. It also acts as a selfie stick as well. She really wasn't expecting that. That was another little practical gift that she absolutely loved. I also picked up one of these for Kirsty because I know she was needing a new setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I use it and I know that she really wanted one. The last thing I got her was a necklace. I know she's been wanting one for quite a while um, and it's just got a little K because her name is Kirsty and a little heart. I don't know if I'm going to get that to focus or not. There we go. 
uh, and it's on a really dainty chain so that is just super pretty um, and I don't think she's stopped wearing it she absolutely loves it so that was definitely a successful gift idea now we're gonna move on to my mum Christy and I both put money together and got her one of our favorite candles for Christmas this is from the white company it is the Seychelles candle it's super fresh smelling it's her favorite one um, and to go along with that we got her something that I think has actually been one of the most successful presents we've got her she uses it so much my mum absolutely loves candles and I saw this on TikTok and I just had to buy her it it is like a rechargeable um, lighter you can just charge it using a USB charger it's reusable a little bit more sustainable which is really cool you can see how much charge it has left based on the lights on the sides there is like a little safety switch as well um, just I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this but it sets off like a little electrical fuse it makes quite a scary noise though but yeah um, so there's that and the last thing we got my mum, we knew that she was in desperate need of a new pair of earrings. We got her these super simple little knot earrings. Hopefully you'll be able to see them, okay? They're just little, quite simple gold knotted earrings with a little diamante in the middle. She doesn't really like earrings that are too like dangly. Um, so these were just quite simple ones that I thought she could wear kind of on the daily. Um, and she absolutely loved those. She wasn't expecting that at all. So she was really grateful. They were just from HM Samuel. I think they were about 40 pounds. Now my dad is like notoriously impossible to buy for. We usually just get him chocolate for Christmas but I saw this online my dad is a massive kid at heart um, and he absolutely loves Lego it is like a little personalized family portrait and it has each of us as little Lego people so my dad loves cycling and we managed to get him a Lego figure with a little bike Kirsty has a slice of pizza my mum's holding a cupcake because she loves baking um, and I've got a little camera so it is so cute it came in this massive frame as well um, so I was so happy with this I got it custom made by a seller on Etsy so I'll try and link it down below. Delivery came so quickly and the quality is just amazing and my dad was so impressed with it. So that was definitely a success and it's always good when you manage to get dad a present because he's so hard to buy for. I think this was about £40. Depends on how many characters you're adding to the family and you can also add pets as well. So it was a really cool idea. On the same wavelength with that, um, for my uncle we also got a personalised portrait made and uh, this was just a digital one that we got drawn but we also ordered it from Etsy my uncle absolutely loves The Simpsons so I happened to come across this online and I did and I just had to get it for him and it is a custom Simpsons print it's him drawn as a Simpsons character we got him drawn like on the sofa just like the starting titles and we also asked the guy to draw Kirsty and I so it's the three of us and it was a gift from us to him and he absolutely loves it it was brilliant they were so efficient and and it turned out great and we actually just ended up printing it ourselves and putting it in a frame for him um, and he was so surprised he'd never seen that before so I think he definitely loved it. Another present that I almost forgot to mention um, was my secret Santa that I did with my girlfriends from uni. It was a bit more difficult this year because they all live out kind of Glasgow way which is about an hour away from mine so we couldn't actually meet to give our presents this year and we thought we'd do a zoom call where we opened our secret Santas but I actually had to post it to my friend Robin's house um, which wasn't ideal but I think she still absolutely loved it. Again, I ordered it off of Etsy. It was this gorgeous pair of satin personalised PJs. I just got it personalised with her initials on the pocket. Um, I went for the black ones because I thought that was a wee bit more kind of all year round. Um, a few years ago for Valentine's Day, Ryan got me a set of pink satin personalised pyjamas and I love them so much. So I thought they were quite luxurious and she might really enjoy having her own set. So yeah, they made such a gorgeous present idea. Something that my family have been doing for years is making personalised calendars. We usually give one to my gran every year year um, and I thought that that would be a really great idea to get for Ryan's parents. So with help from Ryan and his sister um, we collected loads of photos of him and his family and different moments from the year and I put them together into a personalised calendar which I made on Vista print um, and I got all printed on nice glossy paper for them and they absolutely loved that. It just makes a really nice personalised gift. You can also get photo books made up as well which is something that I've done in the past so I would definitely recommend that. If you didn't already know I've recently started a little hobby which has turned into a kind of small business where I do digital drawings on my iPad and I've been selling them. Um, I'll pop up a few examples if I remember to later on. And I did a few drawings um, for some other people to give as gifts. For example, I drew the dogs for Ryan's dad. And I also drew a massive portrait of Kirsty and I and all of my cousins with my grand and papa because we live quite far away from all of our cousins. Some of
of them are in Australia, some of them are in other parts of Scotland. So we thought it'd be really nice to kind of draw us all because we're not often all together um, and give to my gran and papa and they absolutely loved it. We just got it printed um, at a local supermarket and put it into a frame for them. But yeah, um, if anyone's interested, my drawing account on Instagram is Jen's Digital Drawings. Um, and if you're interested, then I can maybe draw a portrait for you. I think that is all the kind of main presents that I gave this year for Christmas. Hopefully you found this interesting and who knows, maybe you'll find it inspirational for future gift ideas for people in your family. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!